right, we're start getting stuff ready to put the Jake brakes on today. So I've got to remove some of this stuff so I can access the valves. So I've got a temporary auxiliary compressor I'm going to pull out of here. This um, air filter housing will have to come out. Give us enough room to get that this valve cover off. The other side, I don't think there's anything to remove. It's just going to be a matter of squeezing in here to get to this side. It's going to be interesting. blue hose I'm removing is the is the air compressor intake thinking about putting my own filter on it Just tuck that out of the way right now I'm removing this is called the hump hump hoses Go into the turbo. That gives us pretty well good clearance over here. About the only other thing I need to remove is that uh, is this guy here is the the breather tube going down. Get a pair of channel locks to remove that. Can I see anything with it? I'm bumping it. Oh, I'm bumping. Back out of the way, It'll be all set. I'm gonna try to pull a section of the exhaust manifold out of the way. Tap, tap, tap here. There she goes. Very gentle with these is Something I don't think you can get anymore is these exhaust manifolds, except for used. Gentle.
we go. So these are a 12 point head, 3 8 12 point head. So now the rocker cover should be loose. Should be able to just pop it off of here. big to get it out of this little area back here so just lay it back here on top of this brace I'm gonna remove these fuel jumpers I like to put a little rag down there to try to catch any fuel that comes out of the jumper try to keep it out of the oil All right, we're gonna pull these uh, rocker arms loose. Might need a bigger wrench. There we go. I got the new exhaust valve bridge for the jakes in here. So I'm doing the setting. All right, so I'm putting the fuel line jumpers in. I'm gonna turn this fan off so you can hear. So you can tell these line up there that one goes there and this one comes across this side Found it's easier if you get one fuel line jumper in and then tighten it down and then put the other one in. These are the Jake fuel line jumpers. I've already done this side. It was kind of hard to see over here and hard to work, so I'll, I'll video the other side, but I've already set up the new uh, Jake valve, valve bridges, and those are put in, and I set them. Um, and checked them with uh, a 15 thousandths uh, feeler gauge. 
and made sure that they were correct. So these guys, a trick old timer taught me was you bring them down to their tight and then a quarter turn. And I got to do that since I don't have the line socket for these. going to snug this up. You want to leave a little bit of room to make sure they line up. These are the oil tubes. Alright, so we're going to pull these, there's 24 volt solenoids off of these jigs, so got to remove it. This is a 12 point uh, socket, 7 8 People have mentioned it's a special wrench, but I thought it looked like a 12 point. That's the O-ring down there, and there should be an O-ring down on the bottom. I'm gonna have to get it out. Mm -hmm. I see it. I'll get you. These O-rings are in pretty bad shape. So there's an O-ring. There's three O-rings on these solenoids. There's one here, one here, and there's one on the tip. Should be. Down, hopefully in the, in the bore there. Can you see down in there? Yeah, there it is. So we got new. These are the new style jig solenoids, 12 volt. See, you can 
see it's already got the two o-rings on it and the other o-ring is in the bag so probably just set that other o-ring down on the bottom that way we don't make sure it's in there I just took my o-ring pick and I made sure it's sitting down there in the bottom. Uh, this says torque to 15 foot-pounds right on it. Alright, so there's also plugs in these because this was an 8V92 configuration. So we had to remove this plug out of this side on this, uh, this supply unit. And you'll see why when we stick it in the bus or on the engine. Alright, so you got to put these little O-rings between the units. It was right in that little... So i got new O-rings. You just got to be careful not to knock them out while you're putting it in there. I back these adjusting lines all the way back. The fun part is going to see if the valve cover goes on here without taking this exhaust off. I'm hoping. So I'm just snugging these a little bit, just in case I need to adjust a mini I got the next the light over here the other drone again double check it's missing the uh, that with the plug there's no plug on this side and it is plugged on this side. We got the O-ring in there. Verifying these are lined up with the other oil lines.
Strung them up. So I'll hold this in place. I'll like tighten the jam nut. Again, when we run the engine, we'll check and make sure these lines aren't leaking any. Now this is oil. The only thing that caused the only problem with these leaking is that it's gonna the jakes aren't gonna work good. So it's not as big a deal as the fuel lines. Okay, so that's all the way down. Back it off a quarter call that a third run the jam that up Got our torque wrench set to 90 foot pounds. So we're going to torque these. This is a little 3 8 torque wrench, so it's a lot for 90 pounds. So we got to set the, the clearance on these uh, Jake pistons. It's supposed to be 0 Be able to adjust that down until it drags on it. Getting both of my hands in here to drop.
too tight. I think we like that. It's got a little bit of drag on it. Just gonna hold that there. Hold this here with a Allen wrench and put a half inch wrench on it. 9 16th wrench, sorry. 